Good morning, guys. Um, I come to you this morning with a heavy, heavy heart. I, um, I've actually been praying a lot about how I want to uh, give this message to y'all. Because um, it's something that's very dear to me, um, but I didn't want to offend anybody. But I want to inspire and lift up and not be so sad. Uh, but it's something that, you know, is very heavy on my heart. And um, the message today is uh, count the cost. Uh, the reason I say count the cost is because when people look at me, um, they want the immediate fix. They say, oh, how'd you do it? How long did it take you? What did you do? Um, things like that. And, and it's not an easy answer. It's not a quick answer. It's a hundred things. It's not just one thing. Uh, one thing is not going to you know, make or break your journey in uh, weight loss and health. But when I say count the cost, I mean you have to know what this lifestyle looks like. Everyone, when they want to get healthy and make a change in their life, they're all pumped up and they're encouraged and they're like, okay, I'm going to get a gym membership tomorrow. I'm going to go buy my workout clothes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then they're a week into it or, you know, come Friday and they're like, I'm done with this. I hate this. I don't want to do this. And they're ready to throw in the towel. When you see somebody with a physically fit body or a muscular build, you have to ask yourself, what did they have to do to, to, get, that, to get that physique? Um, it's just like anything in life. If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to uh, graduate college, uh, anything you do in life takes time and takes energy and takes uh, making it a priority. It, it, it means being different at times. So when you look at those people in the gym and you see the body or you look in a magazine and you see the body that you want or um, you just see somebody who's healthy, who doesn't have to, you know, take medication or doesn't have to, uh, you know, cry themselves to sleep at night, you know, count the cost. Think about all the things that they had to do and give up and put into this to get where they are. Me, myself, you know, uh, if I, I wanted to make a list, but the list would be a hundred things long. You know, I have to pay for a gym membership. I have to pay for a tanning package. I go tanning every single day after I get off work, whether I want to or not. I go to the gym uh, Monday through Friday every single day. Uh, at, you know, I get up at 4 a.m., have my God time, you know, get my coffee ready and I'm out the door. I'm at the gym Monday through Friday every single day um, at 5 a.m. And that takes a lot. That means I have to go to bed early the night before. That means I have to pack my bag the night before. That means I have to prep my food the night before. That means, I mean, it, it's so much stuff, so much money I have to put into it, so much time and effort. Um, I count my calories and my macros every single day. Um, you know, all these, you know, I had to pay for things to put my food in. I have to, you know, I have to think about my menu plan and plan it out ahead of time. I mean, the list, it literally goes on and on. I mean, literally, I can't tell you how many events I've been to or, you know, um, parties. And I brought my own food because I eat differently than other people. Um, how many times I had to say no to hanging out with friends because I needed to go to bed at, you know, 8, 9 o'clock at night so I could get up at 4 a.m. So you really, really, really have to count the cost. This is not an easy lifestyle. But all that being said, there's so many rewards. If, if there weren't so many rewards, people wouldn't be doing it. I get to feel happy. I get to feel healthy every single day. I had to or I got to uh, get every single accomplishment, you know, every little small victory I had. I got to celebrate that and be excited about, oh, my thighs don't touch together or I see a little bit of definition there or my inches went down five inches or... You know, I can't tell you how many times I got on the scale and, you know, I would be busting my butt for two months and I didn't see anything. The scale didn't move at all, but I kept doing it. I stayed with it. I stayed strong. And then eventually the scale budged. It moved. You know, I had ups and I had downs. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys. Not everybody knows this. Only my, you know, closest people to me. Um, know that, you know, back when I started losing my weight a long time ago, because this has been a 13 year journey. Um, back when I first lost all my weight a long time ago, I had a lot of saggy skin and I wasn't happy with it. I would be running on the treadmill and I wasn't happy with it. So I got a, uh, what they call a tummy tuck, you know, back in like 2005, it was a long time ago. 
um, I got a tummy tuck. But right after I got the tummy tuck, you know, I was going through a rough patch in my life. I ended up putting on 60 pounds. So it's like it completely washed away everything that I paid for, thousands of dollars that I paid for and did. So I had to start at square one again. So I guess, I mean, it's really hard to to put this, you know, I want to make this video short, but I can't. And it's really hard to put it into words that I, that I could make you understand because it's 13 years of blood, sweat, and tears. And, and, and I haven't arrived. I still don't have the physique that I want. I still haven't, um, you know, given up. I still want more for my life. But I just want you all to know that you can do it. Um, you have to count the cost because you can't get into this thinking that it's going to be a short road. You can't get into this thinking that, oh, this is something I do for a little bit and then I stop and go back to the way things were. No, that's not the way. It's a lifestyle change. And do you enjoy life? Yeah, I do. I go out with my friends. I drink. I eat fast food. I I sleep in. I You know, there's, there's ups and there's downs. There's give and there's take. And, uh... So it's not every single day you go hard 100% and you know you don't have any luxuries. That's not the way it works. But I do want you to know that this is a journey. Um, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you friends. It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money. Um, it's going to cost you. There's you know there's so many times you know I'm a woman. So once a month I, it's my menstrual cycle. Sorry for the TMI. But you know so I'm bloated and I'm cramping so bad I could heal over. And what do I do? I still have to. You you know go to the gym I still have to eat healthy that day even though I want to go through a box of chocolates you know you have to count the cost you really do this is not an easy lifestyle but what you get in return is so I'm telling you from experience it's so much worth it you 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 get to celebrate every single victory you get to uh, live a life where you can do anything where there's no limitations Today I was running 6.0 on a treadmill and bouncing up and down like a gazelle. I look like a silly girl, but I can do that now. I have no limitations. I can do crunches. I, I mean, I can do push-ups, full man push-ups. There's so much more that I want to do, and the. I just want to tell you the whole point of this message is please count the cost. Don't get into this thinking that this is going to be a one day thing or that it's going to be easy or that, you know, or that you just, you can't do it. Please don't ever think that. Just know that every single hurdle, every single problem that you uh, come up against, just know that you're going to push it down, that you're going to go through it, that you're not going to give up. That's what you have to do when you go into this, is you don't put a time limit on it. You don't put a money limit on it. You say, I will not quit. I will endure. I will not quit. And then that gets you through it. That's, that's the only advice I could give because you're going to have rough days. You're going to have days where you just want to lay in bed and cry. Um, and you're going to have days where you feel like you're the most beautifulest, uh, most gifted person on this planet. Um, so you have, you know, the, the good and the bad. And uh, I just want you to know that you have to, you know, count the cost when you're going into it. But you also just, you have to know that you're good enough and that you're strong enough and that you can do this. So um, I guess that's how I'll end my message is to definitely count the cost, but know that you can do this. And I'm with you. I'm here with you. I can answer your questions. Um, I'm praying for you. Um, and I want this for each and every one of you. I want you to know the happiness and the freedom that I feel right now. So I hope you guys hear this message and I hope it inspires you. Uh, and I hope that I have a bunch of warriors next to me. Bye.